Well, hello. Good evening. I'm back. Um, it's now about 1030. Uh, my Wi-Fi went out. It was out for a while. So my daughter had to uh, reset the modem. So I'm back in business again. So I thought I'd get back on here for a little bit. Kind of kind of do a recap <clears throat> of, the la of the one I just did uh, about the first love and the, the church and, and uh, the Holy Spirit. Anyway, uh, getting back to what I said earlier, um, um, when we talk to people about Jesus and we read from the Bible and everything, we are supposed to, to preach the truth. Yes, we're supposed to preach the truth, you know, and to, to, to try to keep <clears throat> to try to keep everybody out of the bad place, you know, and um, we we are supposed to to, to uh, to witness, to witness. That's what our jobs are. Us, us, you know, servants. We, you know, us servants of the from the, of the Lord. That's what we're all about, you know. And some people go about it the wrong way, and when they do, well, it chases people away. I mean, but, but you, yes, you do have to get the point across. I mean, you do have to to, to preach. You have to speak the truth. And. You know what the Bible does say I mean and you know you have to back the Bible yet the Bible backs you up and you have to back the Bible up you know that is a fact that is that is the absolute truth you know and and we're supposed to worship him in spirit and in truth you know and um, we have to let we have to let other people know we have to let them know and if we don't you know, then we, we can be held accountable ourselves, you know, if we don't let other, you know, because pe people people perish from lack of knowledge, from lack of knowledge, and that's that's our job to present the truth to, to people, you know. You know, it's funny, well, not funny, but strange, I always ask the Lord, the Lord mm, that's potato chips and tuna fish again, but anyway, I always ask the Lord, you know, to help me to to word things, you know, and, and I am getting stronger. I'm getting stronger all the time in, in him, all the time, you know, and um, I want, like I said earlier, I want to, my light to shine. I want it to shine, you know, and um, I love people, you know, even even with my social anxiety disorder, I love people. I love to talk to people. You know, and um, I'll be t I'll be telling more about me probably too later on. I'll be telling me more, let, telling you more. Um, but I wanted to get back to um, that night that he he ran out of the church. You know, um, him and I talked a while uh, when we got back to the house. We we talked a while out in the car. Of course, we we always sat out in the car in the driveway to talk. You know, and everything. And uh, I think he said he really didn't know what happened. He said, I, he said, I, I don't, don't know what happened. I think that's what he said, I think. Um, I, I have a pretty good memory, but on some things it's a little fuzzy on some things. But when I know something to be a fact, then, then I will bring it up, bring it out. And as something else, too, a person, like I said earlier, a person doesn't have to be afraid to, to speak out. And I, I am being more bold, more bold now. And like I said, I answer to nobody, no man on this earth. I will bow down to no man on this earth. Jesus Christ is the only man that I that I answer to. My, my Father in heaven, my Father in heaven. You know, and um, I'm trying to, to do a lot better. I've always been a good person. I've always been a good person, you know. And I've always went along with the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Not the way they do unto you. Not the way they treat you. I've always gone by that. And it's got me in trouble through the years because people have take, taken advantage of me through the years. But that's a no, you know, that's a, no, a whole, whole other subject. But anyway, I just wanted to say, you know, that um, whoever wants to contact me, feel free to. Feel free to contact me. You know, I mean, like I said, I'm an open book. I hide nothing. I have nothing to hide, you know. And uh, but I was trying to think if, it was, if there's anything I wanted to read from the Bible real quick tonight. 
don't know. <clears throat> my Bible. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I will be taught the Word of God. My mind is, see, my mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I will never be the same again. In Jesus' precious name, amen. And I do like that because that's what Joel Osteen used to say until they took it, until they took it out, you know. But anyway, um, what can I read tonight? We're up to over five minutes. What can I read? Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. There's Proverbs. I've always liked Proverbs. I wish I could wish I could pause that. Why is the village contrasted continue? Let's see. Okay, let's read. Let's go for Proverbs, uh, chapter fifteen. Go let's see chapter fifteen, verses seven. I'm just going to read a little bit here. Okay, I feel like I want to read from Proverbs. We might learn something here. Proverbs chapter fifteen, starting with verse seven. Go up in the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge, the words of knowledge. 8. The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth his own bitterness, and a stranger doth not intermeddle with his joy. 11. The house of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Even in laughter the heart is sorrowful, and in the end... Of that mirth is heaviness. Number 14. Hang on just a second here. I'm going to get me a King James Version NIV, NIV version. Uh, it, it's the same Bible. It's the same thing, but it's just easier to explain for people to understand some of the words that they don't understand from the, the King James. It'll be the King James Version, but it'll be the to better understand it. Okay. 14. The, back, the backslider is in heart shall be filled with his own ways, and a good man shall be satisfied from his, himself. Fifteen, the simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his goings. Sixteen, a wise man feareth and departeth from evil, but the fool rageth and is confident. It says, seventeen, he, he that is soon angry dealeth, dealeth foolishly, and a man of wicked devices is, is hated. Okay, let's see. Twenty, the poor is hated even of his own neighbor, but the rich hath many friends. He that despiseth his neighbor sinneth, but he that hath mercy on the poor, happy is he. Do they not err that de devise evil? But mercy and truth shall be to them that devise good. 23. In all labor there is profit, but the talk of the lips tendeth only to penury. 24. The crown of the wise is their riches, but the foolishness of fools is folly. Okay, a true witness delivers, delivereth souls, but a deceitful witness speaketh lies. That's true. Okay, 26. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. 27. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life, to depart from the snares of death. Okay, in the multitude of people is the king's honor, but the, weight, the want of people is the destruction of the prince. Okay, he that is slow to wrath is of great understanding, but he that is hasty of spirit exalteth folly. Okay, let's see. Um, we're just driven to see. Uh, okay, uh, chapter 15, verses. Okay, verses 1 through 4. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but the grievous words stir up anger. Two, the tongue of the wise useth knowledge of all right, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. Three, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Four, a wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. 
Okay, fool. Five, a fool despiseth his father's instruction, but he that regardeth the reproof is prudent. Is prudent. Okay, number seven. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the foolish doth not, doth not so. Okay, eight, the sacrifice, sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. Nine, the way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he, but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. Ten, corrupt correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Hell and destruction are before <clears throat> before the Lord. How much more than the hearts of the children of men? Okay, I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to stop right there. Pretty good verses, I think. <clears throat> it, it goes back to what I said earlier. We have to follow God's law. We have to follow, you know, what he says in the Bible. We have to walk up righteous and teach people, teach people. You know, I mean, because we don't want people to perish. And, and like I said earlier, before, there will be people that will perish from lack of knowledge. You know, they'll go ahead with their sinful ways. They won't listen. And that's, that's a fact. And, but we won't have, a, we won't have any memory of the former things. When we once, when our bodies are once changed, which will be changed instantane, instantaneous, inst instant. I'll just say instantly. <laughs> Sometimes I can't say some of those words. But that's true. We will be changed. In the twinkling of an eye, in the blink of an eye, we will be changed from, uh, uh, incorruptible, from corruptible to incorruptible. We will not have any memory of the former life. It says we will re recognize our loved ones in heaven, and we will be with our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the bottom line. And... What a day that will be. And I love that song too, but I don't have time to sing that tonight. But I just thought I wanted to get into the Word a little bit. And it seemed like the Lord wanted me to read a few verses from Proverbs. And I did. I obeyed what, you know, He wanted me to read. So I did. So, well, anyway, I'm going to get off here now. It's been uh, over 12 minutes, 20, almost, almost uh, 12 and a half minutes. And it's now 20 minutes to 11. I have to upload this now, being that my Wi Fi is working. I can up upload it. So, um, what shall I title this one? Well, I'll wing it. I guess I'll wing it. I'm going to wing it on a prayer. So, God bless you all. Until tomorrow, I will be back on here tomorrow. And I love you all. God bless you. Hope you all have a restful night, a peaceful night's sleep. And just say Jesus' name. Just say his name, like I've said before. Just say Jesus. Jesus. Give me peace, dear Lord. Give me peace. Give me understanding. And that's what I pray for. More wisdom, more understanding, more knowledge. Yes, yes. So on that note, people, I love all of you. Bless your hearts. I love all of you. So until tomorrow, this is Gloria Harlow Drummond signing off for tonight. Okay, good night, good night.